Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to start the Farnsworth house as a case study. So I'm going to open up Rhino right now. And we're going to set up our, our, our Rhino file so then we can import a bitmap and start the 3D model. So it asks us for the, the template and I'm going to use large objects and feet. So click on that and then click open. I'm just going to move this back and I'm going to get rid of the grid lines and I created a macro so you guys can go into the macro tutorial in the advanced um, round tutorials and create a macro to deactivate the grid. I'm going to have the X and Y um, still there though. So to import a bitmap to use as our floor, pl floor plan, I'm just going to right click on top and place by clicking the background bitmap. And then I'm going to search for my image, and I'm going to use a PNG image. And I'm just going to scale it open right there. Doesn't matter what um, the size you pick because we're going to rescale it anyway. I'm going to double click on top so that we have just that screen. And I know that the width of this um, floor here from the Farnsworth house is 28 feet. So I'm going to make it this line red and then draw a line that's 28 feet which is all the way down there and to move the image after you place it in I'm just gonna right click on top background bitmap and click on move I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can get since this is a pretty rasterized image so you're not gonna get a very clean image once you zoom in. I'm going to turn off snap so I can get where I want it to be. I'm going to click that image and I'm going to move to this point. And then to scale, I'm just going to right click on top again and go to background bitmap and click on scale. I'm going to pick that first corner and then this bottom corner. And then I'm going to scale it to where the red line is which is 28 feet so I'm just gonna move it all the way down so now the floor plan that uh, that I got online by permission is scaled to in our Rhino model um, in feet so the next tutorial we'll do is to redraw the floor plan in Rhino and then we'll extrude the curves and thanks for watching